All right, welcome back. We are in endless space disharmony, and the amoeba, who are big and scary, have decided to declare war on us. Well, they haven't actually declared war, but they will. And they're going to blow up my little scout. It's fine. Um, actually, I guess we can put him in the hangar. Hee <laughs> hee. No scout for you. Uh, we are colonizing a um, lava planet over here to get some more hex. That's great. And we can colonize lava over here as soon as we have... Well, I guess we can throw it in the queue, right? I was going to say as soon as we have more pop, but the more pop is going to be three turns away. That's not that bad. Let's throw it up here. Throw it up. Throw it up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And, oh, right, right there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, more lava? Any lava anywhere? Nope. Lava? Lava, yes. Uh, I really don't like dust load, but the fact that you get an ass load of production out of it, I guess, is kind of worth it. Lava. Throw it up. And besides, we're getting rid of dust uh, with buildings, so it's okay. There we go. That's a nice lava for us. Throw it up. More lava? Nope, desert. Lava? Lava, yes. High gravity. Who cares about high gravity? And a tiny bit less production. Big whoop. And the um, happiness penalty doesn't affect us because we're crystals. We don't care about happiness. We do care about these freaking amoeba who are over here with giant scary navies. And I don't really want to fight that shit until we have a decently capable boat, which is not what we have right now. Uh, I think we need to design one anyway, though. Design a cruiser. Um, we don't have hex... But, uh, we will. Very soon, right? We could go to the lo the lower tech one, but I think we do want the better one. Give me four of those, maybe five of those. He doesn't really have any other weapons. So the shields, two of each should be fine. We have tons more room on here. Do we really need this? Antimatter. I don't think we have antimatter yet. Uh, hmm... We do get a bonus on defensive modules, right? Yeah, minus 50% tonnage on defensive modules. So this, instead of 60, is only 30, right? Yep. So some more HP is nice. How much HP? Plus 50% health on ship, nice. And then we need some weapons. Ooh, weapons, actually we could do a repair module. Hmm, let's lower the HP a little bit. Throw in a repair module. Well, Sure, whatever. And we can add some weapons, weapons, weapons. Uh, lasers, probably. Ooh, 11 lasers? Wow. Oh, oh that's laser defense. Damn it. <laughs> lasers. Yeah, we can't fit many lasers. We'll put some medium range lasers. Uh, six of those. Eight lasers. That's fine. We're going to call it um, laser beams. Do it. So it requires Hyperium, Titanium, and Hexaferrum. Okie dokie. And we can build some of those uh, as soon as we have the tech, right? Two turns until we have the tech for Hex. So no problem. We've designed our first cruiser. Great. Move on. Mmm, coffee. New moon? Anything interesting on the moon? Yes! The Temple of Cosmic Dedication. Oh, fantastic. I recall his dedication. And it fits! Oh, that's what she said. Fantastic. So we now have a Temple of Dedication over here. I love it. And we have Orchalkix and Quadranix. Well, we can't actually use Quadranix yet, but soon, right? And side right over here? Yes. Cool. Okay, we colonize the uh, lava planet, throw in some exploration and food, exploitation. Same thing here. Exploit that shit. It's fine. And uh, more exploitation, yes, right here. And moon exploration, cool. Uh, yeah, lots of pop to come in here. And then we will be able to do the arid and the asteroid belt. We're going to wait until the dust calms down, because the dust is getting bad. 
It's getting real bad. And is anyone not busy? Nope, everyone's busy. Okay, good. And they left. They freaking left us alone. Oh, fantastic. Maybe they'll maybe they'll leave us alone because it did. We did get that event saying they like us. So maybe they genuinely do like us. I don't know. Persuasion has nothing to do. So let's make sure you have something to do, Mr. Persuasion Man. Why don't you start building some of those crappy ships? Laser beams. Uh, give me three of them. Ah, Amoeba's opinion has gone down. So maybe they will attack us. I don't know. But we can now use Hex. We can build those ships. We also upped our um, fleet capacity. What's our fleet capacity now? 12. Okay, so we're pretty much on par with everyone else. It's not great. I assume they'll be upgrading their fleet capacity as well. But 12 is, this, 12 is what they were using. Uh, we're also going to have to design an invasion ship if we actually want to invade anyone. Because regular ships, you can't actually do any invading. You have to build special ships for that. Anything interesting going on? Nope. Okie dokie. Everyone's still building. Good. Keep building. Yes, we can now use Hex. That's right. We can shift the balance of the faction in the tax menu. Yeah, but we don't really need growth. I guess we could go more science, huh? Like, Chang needs growth, because Chang is just super tiny. But, um, yeah, we can put it up. Doesn't really matter, I guess. A little more science. We have 107 food in dedication. Holy crap. Uh, I think we can swap you over to production. I mean, we get bonus for food, but we're not really using food, are we? Swap you over to production. And you are super science. Wow. Super science? Yeah, super science. That'll work. Uh, who's got too much food? Wow, persuasion has an ass load of food. Let's put you on science. You can go production. In tundra. Mm. Yeah, production. And baron on science. Move this down. And move these down as well. That'll do. Anyone else need a look? Nah, the rest of it's probably fine. Well, I don't know. Are we not colonizing this lava planet? Oh my goodness. We are not colonizing this lava planet. You should go to production. This is silly. Production, that shit. I want this shit. I want it now. I want it now. Like, right now. One turn. Just get me that production, and then I'm not colonizing? Really? Here, colonize this shit. Colonize it now! Now. That's gonna give us ass loads of production. Just do it. Do it. Who else? Orem. Uh, no, you have a lot of growth to do. Uh, Elon, you have growth to do. As long as they have growth to do, I'm fine leaving them on food production. Yeah, you got growth to do. That's fine. Empty moon. Okay, we got two techs going in. Good, good. New missile defense. That's nice. Uh, I might want to upgrade... Oh, relationship with the automatons has improved. Let's see if we can upgrade our Bodhi boat, our laser beams, to have better missile defense, right? Yeah, get rid of that. Oh, we actually have more room now. Oh, interesting. Um, eight lasers. Oh, we took off the laser defense somehow. Interesting. So now we're switching production over to laser beams too. That's fine. Build cannons on the moons. Yeah, you need lots of crazy stuff in this game. It doesn't really... I wish there was more graphics involved in this game. Like, this is Star Improvement Cloud Rippers. I want to see these things on the planet. I really would love to see Cloud Rippers in Edisur, you know? Just, like, zoom in on one of our colonized planets. I want to see giant guns. It's like, blammo, but they don't, they're not there.
What? Sit and turn, didn't I? And the turn, I click you. Okie dokie. Ah, more defenses. Good. And more lasers if we want them. Uh, ah, ship XP. That's a nice idea. Ship XP. Do it. And we met the United Empire. Hello. And relation with the amoeba has improved. Very nice. Empty moons, empty moons. What else? Okie dokie. We're colonizing the lava planet. Very good. More dust eaters for the win. Eat all the dust. Eat all the dust. You build these. Good, good. It's probably fine. I'm going to keep it on grafting until we max out the pop. And this one's colonizing another barren planet. That's fine. And we're going to do more production. Yeah, more planet. More pop. So how strong are these laser beams? Probably not that strong, but whatever. What do we got? 300 strength versus one. Yeah, let's fight him. Fight his dumb ass. What's he got? He's got beams. All right, but he has no beam defense. And we got, we got decent, well, not really. We should even out our defenses. They're not very even right now. Uh, Whatever. Go nuts. Just go nuts. He's probably going to retreat. Yeah, he retreated. We didn't even hurt him. And he actually hurt us a little bit. No, he didn't. He just ran away. Alright, fair enough. Go back in the hangar. Wow, everything's building up. This is awesome. Oh, this was supposed to be on science. Oops. Don't ask me. Yeah, good catch there. Shit. I didn't notice. Okie dokie. And we could upgrade our boat again. Well, not, mo not upgrade, but modify our boat again. Get rid of these. Put on the better shields. Good. Uh, Okie dokie. Looks fine. Oh, we have new guns we could upgrade to. So get rid of all the guns. New guns. We can fit less of them, but they do more damage. So overall, it's a bonus, right? I think we're going to dump some deflectors and put in some more uh, beam defense and missile defense. Just kind of even things out a bit. So our defenses are more decent across the board. Yep, auto upgrade, very good. I wish I could upgrade the laser beam too, but we can't. For some reason, you can't because, you know, watch. We create the fleet, laser beam too and click on him, you can't retrofit. The Harmony will not use Corrupted Dust to retrofit their ships, so we just can't do it. You, you just gotta scrap it, or I think we're just gonna scrap it. I'll just order it to build some more. What? We can't... Are we missing, uh, something? Surely we have the required tech for those, or what are we missing? What are we missing? I missed out on something. What are we missing? Ah, we are missing antimatter and antimatter. Okay, well, let's go do some freaking antimatter then. Which is antimatter? Right there. And oh, we just don't own any. Really? Right there. I need to go colonize that planet. Antimatter. Okay, colonize it. <laughs> That'll give us the ability to build those boats. And anybody that's not doing anything needs to get these buildings in, because that eats more dust, means less uh, less fids lost. Okay, okay. I didn't realize we didn't have any antimatter planets. Alright, so as you can see, our outposts are now turning into colonies. And when they do, you get a zone of influence. And this one has a huge zone of influence because of this uh, temple to persuasion. So that's awesome. So now, if anyone wants to come in here, they'll have to go to war with us first. So he'll probably not come back. We're not researching anything. Okay. Research, go! Let's go straight up to uh, personal shielding, which is going to convert dust into science and food. Uh, so what do we want? What is this? Support module bombs. Oh, is that for planet grabbing? 
I guess that's fine. Support module bombs. Bunker busters. Cluster munitions. Okay. Three shots per round. Damage depending on ship's defense. Point defense module. I don't know what any of this crap is. They, they changed so much of this game. I don't know how any of this works. But anyway, let's just go over this way. Actually, no. Shielding might be more important. Go this way. Come up here. Probably want that, though. Yeah, do this and come up here like this. So get that done and then come back down to that. And whatever takes one turn, it sounds good. More command points. That's nice. And one turn. What takes one turn? Asteroids. Good, good. Yeah, this building makes no sense now. Plus six dust. Minus two dust. Why doesn't it just do minus six dust? Why? What's the point of giving you plus six dust? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, yep, go get those. More production. That's good. That's going to be nice. Science upgrades. Uh, more science upgrades. Yes. Don't really need the chameleon one or the offensive retreat. That's kind of silly. We will need invasion techs, so that'll be good. And uh, I guess we can come back and get that one. That's fine. I'm just going to queue up a bunch of stuff for now. More relationships. And what is this? Weapon damage. That sounds good. Do those. And I do want to come for these, but I think that's looking a little bit too far in the future. This one's going to be nice. More production. So do those. And then come down here. We can get rid of most malices on planets from that tech. And, okay. Be a better cruiser. And I want that. Gas giants. That's conversion, right? We don't really need gas giant transformation, do we? Probably not. All right, that'll do for now. And queue up that one as well. That'll do for now. Good. So plus 10% max damage per abundance case on Empire. And min damage per abundance case on Empire. Okay. Plus 10% defensive per abundance. Damage. Okay. That's nice. And it allows for developments in linked systems. Simic. Simic? What the hell does it say? Simic. It's laser beams. Oh, is that the that's the ship class? The Simic class. Okay. Scimitar or something? I don't know. So we colonized the Terran planet, and that's really unfortunate. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, I think we'll just go for science on him. It's better than nothing. And I don't want him to have any dust bonuses or food bonuses. He's got too much food. Too much dust. Oh my god, seven dust per person. Ugh. Okay, Cetus. Good. You can go for production bonus. And... Da -da -da -dum. Cheng. Alright, Cheng. Cool. Production bonus on Cheng will help a lot in this system. We also need some food bonus. So, yeah, keep the food stuff to, towards the top. Oh, did I... Where did it go? Oh, it, went, it went straight down. Stupid... The, the organization... This, this needs to be a much larger list. This list is pathetically small. It's ridiculous. There we go. There we go. Everyone busy, everyone busy. Good. End the turn. Now you have fighters and bombers and point defense against those two. Research them to get them on ships and you can use them in normal battles and in sieges. I haven't really used them yet. Fighters and bombers. Are they worth building? Relations with the automatons went down, probably because our military sucks balls. Now we're starting to build some laser beams threes. So how good are these boats? Ooh, 441 for just one boat. That's nice. Dock them up though, because we're gonna build some more. Uh, our fleet size can be 12, so we can get six of them in there. That'd be nice. Six of those babies. Yeah. Then we need some invasion ships too. So if you build fighters and bombers, if you put them on boats, does that mean you don't need weapons on the boat? Oh god. 
Oh, it's just a scout. Does that mean you don't need weapons on the boat? Or do you put them on there and weapons? Go ahead and blockade the system. Don't let anyone in or out. Everyone's done building. Good. Oh, there you go. More buildings. We could colonize those, but I don't want to because they're going to provide too much dust. Too much dust. Less dust, the better, right? Okay, more tech, and now we're going to go for personal shielding. It's going to be nice. Oh, we met someone. Oh, relations with the amoeba have improved. Good. It's too bad we can't really see who's winning on the score. Oh, yeah, we can. United Empire. Oh, wow. So these guys have the best score in the game. We have the second worst, but that's it to be expected, I guess. Alright, this guy's gonna arrive at the end of the turn, that's fine. Kill him next turn. So use bombers against ships and fighters against bombers and fighters, okay. He didn't arrive. Damn it. Oh, he'll arrive next turn then. Yeah, we're starting to get a decent fleet over here. Good. A couple more. So just stick them on boats that already have guns and stuff. Okay. Come on, land, you sack of shit. Oh, he's going somewhere else. Really? He's going to Cetus? I'll blockade that one then. Where the hell is he going? He just went right through me like I wasn't even there. That was weird. Come on, land on me. Finish two techs. Ah, there we go. Personal shielding. Nice. We gotta build that everywhere. I wish it would show his destination. Uh, yes. Personal shielding. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, finish the boat first. That's fine. Boat. Put this towards the top. That's fine. Make sure everybody gets the personal shielding. Oh my god. Please. Please to be personal shielding. Please to be personal shielding. So good. Ooh. This one has a long ass queue. The food here is terrible. Not that it tastes bad or anything. Um, break up the food first. And you can't spend dust to build anything. That's kind of annoying. So, a small ass system like this with low pop, low food. There is nothing in here that gives food except this one. And we've already colonized it and we're still really, really slow on food growth. <sighs> but this will help a little bit. Gives, let's see. Ocean, jungle, terran, desert, arctic, arid, tundra. Oh. So it won't help unless we colonize the desert. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Don't even bother. Put it somewhere at the bottom. We're not going to colonize the desert for a long time. Get this up here. This will help a little bit. 
a little bit just a little bit it actually builds really quick too yeah good converts dust into food that's nice and then we can go ahead and colonize this you know what let's do that that'll help do 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 colonize put the dust into food right there yeah Okie dokie. Everyone busy? You're busy. You're busy. Everyone's doing the same thing. Good. And he's going to land on us or what? Okay. Very good. Come on. Land on me. Come on. Ugh, the AI. They can choose to move whenever they want. It's kind of annoying. There we go. So what does he have? He has beams, and we have, we have everything. Well, we have everything defended. All right, uh, short circuit. Are those long range beams? Yeah, he's got long range beams, and we've got medium range things, so that's fine. Uh, whatever. He's not really gonna fight back. He's gonna run. Go laser beams, laser beams. He ran, but we killed him anyway. Yay! All right, go back to persuasion and block that system. And why don't we end here? Thank you guys for joining me today. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time for more adventures in disharmony. See you then.